Hello there and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to run through the eTube app if you are connecting to an e-bike. Now I've got the EP8RS on the Abia Denner. Uh, this will probably do for most motors with the EP Shimano. So yeah, if you're here and you want to know how to run the app with the motor, you've come to the right place. I'm going to bring it up here in a minute and show you everything you need to know. Basically I do apologise for the wind noise. Basically it's about 60 mile an hour winds outside at the minute and that's why I'm indoors doing this so let's get on with it let's get the app up so first of all you want to turn on your motor and put it into eco mode and I think that's what gives it the Bluetooth uh, connectivity so you can connect to the app so let's get the app up so I'm gonna bring the app up here now and uh, you should see it there you press the plus and then it finds the bike straight away if you've got it in pairing mode and then it should connect sometimes it could take up to 30 seconds to connect here just uh, wait a few seconds and then let it come on that comes up pass key you can change and have a, a lock on it if you want i just go later like i said this could take a few seconds just for it to connect And there you go, right, in front of you there you should see all the parts on your e-bike. So we go yes, okay. And there you go. So what we'll do here, we'll go first at the top, you've got free, you've got update, customise and maintenance. So we'll go into update and that basically will show you if anything needs updating. No firmware's updates are available to get to the bike, so that's good. Everything's up to date. So if anything shows on there you need to update it, you can update it there in the app. So let's go to Customise. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go to Maintenance first, because Customise might be a bit longer. But Maintenance shows you how much batteries you've got left at the top. And you've got Ride Data, so that'll go into that. It'll show you how many total distance of miles and stuff the bike's done. Uh, You've got the drive unit that should give you the information on the motor so yeah the drive unit that's just giving you some information on that so at the bottom you've got the adjustment to the uh, gears so that does come up a warning sign just press ok and then that'll come up and then you can adjust your gears like you would do on any uh, di2 uh, if you do, do run di2 so yeah that's that so let's go into customization right yeah so customize mode as you can see we've got right at the top assist mode so we go into that give you the little warning so this is where you've got the two uh, modes we can set on your bike you've got gr basic mode and then you've got gr plus basic mode so basically i've got it in plus mode at the minute but the two differences are in gr mode it's if you want to go on longer rides, you want the battery to last longer, you're not using as much of the power in the battery, so it's, uh, in, the, in the motor, so it's not taking up as much uh, battery life. And uh, yeah, if you want it in that mode, that's if you're going on like longer rides, but not as crazy steep and not as rough terrain. So you can put it in that and you can set this. You've got it in eco mode, as you can see there. It's not using that much. The default mode's 20 newtons meters of torque in eco. In trail mode, the default is 27 newton meters of torque, and then in boost mode, it's 42 newton meters of torque. That's in de de the default of the uh, GR mode. So let's have a look at GR plus mode. So in eco mode, I've got it at 56 newton meters of torque. That's not the de default. In trail mode, I've got it at 56 newton meters of torque. Like I said, that's not default. And then in boost. I've got it full 85 meter newtons of torque. Now, if I move them, you can move them down. That's the default. The default is 56 meter newtons of torque in boost. In trail, uh, default. In trail, the uh, 
default is 34 newton meters of torque and then in eco we go run down the default is 27 newton meters of torque so that's in GR plus mode and all that is adjustable so you can adjust it to whatever you want and whatever power modes you want so and then you've got the drive unit so that's just giving you the maximum speed in there obviously in Great Britain we can only go like 25 km per hour 16 miles per hour display speed is at 5% or shuft off time at 10 minutes so you can change that if you want and then you've got all shifts uh, manual shifts rear shifting units so you can adjust all that there the shift units obviously Ultegra then you've got the switch you can have a play in that if you want that's just all if you do if you use di2 that's just similar stuff you can just to change what button does what and uh, you know you can set it up to i mean i have the top button sometimes on me ultegra to change uh, me garmin uh, screens you can do all that sort of thing there then you've got the cycling computer display that's just like brightness levels if it's mpg or km whatever you want to do you can change it all there it's all adjustable You've got wireless settings. That's just telling you the information on that and the time. So yeah, just disconnect and that's that. Yeah, so this was just a quick rundown on the Shimano uh, e-tube app and how you connect it to you, your e-bike and basically the different settings and different modes in the uh, app what you can change it to and uh, whatever ride you're going through I mean I find this motor so far the rides have been on absolute fantastic I mean basically the next video will be me taking up Grisdale Forest and absolute on the gravel trails and this bike bike absolute the motor on it just performs so well on that sort of terrain it just absolute amazing so yeah so stay tuned for that and uh, like and subscribe if it helped you anywhere here this is like i said just a quick video going through the youtube app and uh, if you've got any questions put it in the comments uh yeah thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one